We might be able to work on that in a few. We'll just turn this on. This is already on video recorded. You alright with that? Nope. Okay. We'll do our best to try to get you the cigarette. Yeah, we have, uh, we got cigarettes somewhere, so I'll try to work on that, okay? Uh, before we have any, any conversations, I'm just going to have you read something, okay? And then we'll just go from there. Just so you know, uh, because you're under arrest right now, I have to read you this stuff, or you have to read it to me. Um, again, Detective Riley, Detective Dunleavy. It's uh, January 4th, 2022. It's 8.55 p.m. You can uh, read and write in English, correct? Okay. So, Adam, I'm going to have you uh, start from there, where it says I, and then I'm just going to have you read down. I, Adam Montgomery, and the right to remain silent. Well, let's start from here. I, Adam Montgomery, give the following voluntary statements. Take them down, leave the for Riley, who has identified himself as a member of the Manchester New Hampshire Police Department. He has identified the following of the right to remain silent. Anything he's saying can be used against me in the court of law. I'd write to a lawyer for advice before any questioning, and to have one with me during questioning. If I can afford a lawyer, one will be appointed to me by the court. I decide to answer questions now without my lawyer present. I still have the right to stop answering every time. Do you understand? Yes. Okay. Do you understand all of these, one through five? Yep. Okay. What I'm going to have you do, just initial one through five. That just indicates that you understand what I'm saying, right? Yep. All right. Can you just read that line a wrap line? Do you understand each of these rights? Yep. And you're going to check either yes or no? All right. And then read the next line for me. I uh, to have each of these rights. And are you willing to waive each of these rights and answer questions? Sure. Okay. Now, Adam, you're just going to sign that line. All right. Appreciate it. Before we go forward, uh, can we get a cigarette in here? So, there's a... Uh, a sensor in there, so I'll work on getting you a cigarette at some point. I can't, I can't promise you one right now, just because the room we're in. And if this starts going off, I don't want to flood the building. Detective, you know what I mean? Detective, are gonna go off? That thing will. Yeah. The sprinkler. Yeah. So, uh, but at some point, we'll work on getting you. I know we have cigarettes in here. I know where they are. Okay. Yeah. You hear what I'm saying? Yeah. All right. Uh, do you need a water? I don't need nothing. You good? Okay. Are you okay? What's not okay? What's up? All right. Um, so I'm just going to ask you some basic questions. You said you can read and write English, correct? Yeah. All right. Can you just state your full name for me? Adam Montgomery. And Adam, what's your birthday? One twenty-two ninety. And what address are you using to uh, call? I'm not using any. Okay. What phone number are you using? I don't have one. Okay. Uh, what was the highest level of education? GED. Okay. Where did you graduate high school from? I, I did it. I got a GED. No, but I know. But like, where did you get well, that? I was in Cosworth. Okay. Um, right now, are you under the influence of any drugs or alcohol? No. Okay. Do you have any traumatic brain in injuries or anything like that? Anything that prohibits you from recalling any memories or anything like that? Not that I know of. All right. All right. So we've met before, right? We met the other day. I know you've had a long time down here. You've kind of been a roller coaster. I'm going to apologize for what happened out there. That's not how I do business, okay? That had nothing to do with me. Those are guys that like to play G.I. Joe, all right? If it had been up to me and I could have gotten a hold of you some way, I would have, I would have reached out to you. Cause, but you don't have a phone, right? Or you guys could have just told my wife you wanted me to come in. But aren't you not supposed to be talking to your wife? No, that's bullshit. It's not. You're not supposed to. No, I can't be. Thank you. Look at that. I, I, I can't be. I guess they're going to let you smoke a cigarette. Here. They must have talked to somebody. So I don't know why I was saying I can't talk to my wife. 
because that's bullshit. Maybe it's some old paperwork that somebody saw? Yeah, from last year. But it, it was over with and done with after I got out of jail. So that's all cleared up? DCYF said it was cleared up. The police said it was cleared up. Everybody said it was cleared. They said that there was no no contact order between me and her. Okay, and that's Kayla we're talking about. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, you know what? If, that, if that's the case, then that's my fault for maybe not checking a little bit further into it, so I apologize for that. Again, I apologize for the way things went down out there. Like I said, I'm not part of the SWAT team. I don't do that stuff. If I had, had a good number for you, I would have just called you in. But I don't have a, you don't have a phone, you said, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I apologize for that. I do appreciate you being cooperative with me. You've never given me a hard time. I know we've only met a few times, so thank you for that. Let's talk about why we're here to talk. Tell me what you want to say. Tell me what you know. Nothing. Well, what was our conversation about the other day? You said you had a couple questions you wanted to ask me. You asked me the questions. Well, what was our conversation about the other day? Remember, we met, I mean, you remember that. It was only, what, a few days ago, right? We had a lot of uh, worried people and scared people right now in the community. I know you're worried about the well-being of your daughter. And I kind of want to get ahead of this because I don't want you to be painted as a monster. Well, that's what you guys are already doing. I am? No, no, no. Oh, yeah, you yeah. are. Can you explain that to me? That's what you guys are already trying to do, man. Explain to me how I'm trying to make you or whoever is trying to make you out to be a monster. Who, who's telling you that stuff? Some, is there is there somebody from that I work with that told you that? Somebody you're close with that they told you that? No. Yeah. All right. But you understand this whole thing is getting a little out of hand. Would you agree? Of course. But so that's no, why. No, it's, it's just the way you guys are going about it. Who? And again, yeah, I, I don't not, make, not you specifically, but right. yeah, nobody comes out there like that for a second degree assault charge. Nobody. But are arrested for worse charges. They don't come out and throw fucking flashbangs at my girlfriend's car and ram us into the fucking guardrail. They don't do that. For a second degree assault charge. Again, you understand what the charges are, right? Second degree assault, right? Yep. Okay. There's also an endangering the welfare charge. Okay. And uh, interference with custody. Hmm. Okay, so. So how did I interfere with custody? So that paperwork that we served you the other day, remember that? Okay. When they were in the alleyway, remember outside of on Lake Gap? Yeah. There's paperwork that you have to comply with. You understand that, right? Okay. We had that conversation, did we not? Right? So that's that's what that's all about. Like so a, second degree assault charge, what is this re re referring to? Well, that's what we want to talk to you about. Well, explain to me what, if I'm being charged with it, what the hell am I being charged with it for? Well... Your daughter had some injuries that, that you know about when you lived on Guilford Street. No, I do not. What That's, are you referring to? Well, you were there. I wasn't, right? Well, what are you referring to? I'm referring to her, her having to some good marks. What are you referring to? Marks that were left on her by you. Absolutely not. I have nothing else to say. But right off the rip, but the way you're approaching the conversation, you guys are completely out of line. So me? Yeah. Do I? In in the time you've known me, which well, what is, you just said to me, you guys are completely out of line. Okay, but to, so explain to me how are we I out have, of line? I have nothing to explain. Okay, but wouldn't you rather explain it so you we can make sense of it than just have other people's side of the story? Like, you want to defend yourself and like this picture people are painting of you. Now's your chance, man. Mm -hmm. Whose side of the story? Who's, who, who's telling you these things? People that were close to you. Obviously not. Well, maybe at the time, maybe not anymore. Yeah. I mean, you saw that reward on the news, right? 
No, I did not. Do you know that the reward is about $40,000 to find where your daughter is right now? Okay. When, when you start throwing money around like that, people come out of the woodwork that you would never expect to do. Okay. So, like I said, when I talked to you a few days ago... Can I have another cigarette? Sure. I kind of told you this thing was going to get a lot bigger. That's not we, rough, right. And we tr wanted to get ahead of it. But you're sitting there telling me that, right off the rip, that there was something wrong with my daughter because of me. No, that's bullshit. Okay. So if your daughter had marks on her at, at some point when you lived over there, as how well. would you explain those? How would she have got those marks? Well, I would love to know when that marks were there because DCYF came to my house multiple times. Okay. And we know. We know that they came in. Right. And, and closed the case. Okay. Do we know that DCYF is the uh, flagship agency in, in the country? No, but if there was significant marks like you're referring to, I believe they would have flagged something at that point and they would have said something. They wouldn't have came there and seen that the kids were well taken care of. All the kids loved being at the house with me. So let me tell you about what second degree assault is. There's because there's a lot that encompasses that charge. Basically, if there's a mark on a kid that's under a certain age, it constitutes second degree assault. Although it is a felony, which sounds extremely intimidating, it doesn't mean that somebody got their head bashed in or they got cut up or whatever. So although it sounds pretty intimidating, the charge, I understand that. What we're talking about doesn't mean that it's the craziest crime that's ever been committed. Do you understand what I mean? Okay. So somebody could have a bruise or a really bad welt on them and that would constitute second degree assault for a kid under a specific age. So that's why that charge is there. So nobody is saying that you took like a baseball bat or like stabbed your kid. Like I'm just going to put that out there. That is not what anybody's saying about you. Mm -hmm. So I know you're concerned with when I say second degree assault, but it sounds a lot worse than I think you're thinking it is. Is that is? Are we kind of on the same page? Yeah, but for you to sit there and say that it was inflicted because of me. We're just going on what we hear. We're, we're, you're, not, you're not telling us anything, so we're going with what we have. But I, I don't even know what you're referring to. What are you referring to? Your daughter had a mark on her face that people, multiple people, have told us was inflicted by you. Multiple people that weren't even living with us at the time. Well, there was enough people that had, had spoken about it. Yeah. People share knowledge of what they know. So, so somebody, you telling him, and then he tells you, and then he tells you, so something that just no, gets it's, passed down a line. It's, it's, yeah, we're not talking, I'm not talking about like a, a game of telephone here. I'm saying that people say a story and then the details kind of fill themselves in, like corroborate. Do you know what the word corroborate means? Of course I do. Okay. You're a smart guy. I'm not trying to insult your intelligence. But when people kind of fill in the blanks, that's what I mean by like we're corroborating that story. But this is your time to tell me, kind of explain that. You know, if you're saying this was a mistake, or this was an accident. I don't even know what you're referring to. Like, that's what I'm trying to get at, is I don't well, even know what you're referring to. I'm saying she had a mark on her face. I okay. mean, I don't even know what you're referring to. You don't recall your daughter ever having a mark on her face? The reason DCYF came out to visit you guys, you don't recall that? Why did DCYF come out and start visiting you guys? What was the allegation? If I remember correctly, it was because of, um, I believe at the time, I could be wrong. I, I believe it had something to do with my uncle saying I was using drugs, and I wasn't. Now, who's your uncle so we are clear? Kevin. Okay. And Kevin's last name? Montgomery. Now, he lived there with you? He lived there with me. Right around the time when I was first going back to get custody from my daughter. Okay. And 
then he left in April, May, something, March, something, something around that time. And just so I have it right, because I don't want to guess or, con or like get confused, what house are we talking about? Guilford Street. All right, and what was the number there again? I'm not 100%. Okay. Uh, do you remember what, what color the house was, at least? Beige, maybe. Okay. Um, and whose house was that originally? My grandmother's. All right. And grandma is who? Kevin's mother. Kevin's mother. My she dad's mother. Okay. So was it the Montgomery group living over on Guilford Street? Yeah, and they all, they all moved out. My grandmother moved out in, like, January with my little brother, and they all moved down to Florida, and then Kevin went a couple months later. And so grandma, Uncle Kevin, you said little brother, and, and who is he? My father's son, Michael. So M Michael, that, that's what I meant. Like, what's his first name? Yeah, and um, his girlfriend. And his girlfriend. And is he still with that same girl now? I have no idea. Oh, so you don't talk to Michael anymore? No. Okay. What was that girl's name at the time? Because maybe she can help us to say that, like, this is... Kayla, I believe. So Michael's girlfriend's name was Kayla at the yeah. time? And you dated a Kayla at the time? Yeah. So it kind of got confusing in the house if somebody was yelling for Kayla. Yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> what was Kayla... Kayla, you were with at the time, was... My wife. Okay. Montgomery. And then Kayla, he was with, is... I have no, no idea no who idea. she was. Okay, so there was Grandma and Kevin. They moved out and when? Grandma moved out in like... Uh, I'm just trying to think of people I'm, we can talk to. I'm, I'm like, trying to figure like, it out. Right? I'm trying to figure it out to go back. Like, I think... Um, I think we moved over. Thank you. I think we moved over there. I think we moved over there in like I don't know October, September, somewhere around then. And what year is that? Uh, twenty eighteen. Okay. And at the time, I was I was going for custody for my daughter for at least a year already at that point. And uh, Crystal was showing no interest of going to get our daughter back. So finally in like, uh, I don't know, December, January, February, something along those lines, the courts called me, told me I could come pick her up and bring her home. Brought her home. And then, I think the month before my grandmother left with my brother and his girlfriend and then the month after I want to say Kevin left so then who was left living at the house me Kayla and the kids in uh, that time period I don't know which kids were born yet and who, who um, was um it was Declan and Seamus Okay, and then... And then Omni moved in with us. Okay. Um, so, what time did DCYF get involved with you guys? Like, were they over there often, or was it just, like, a certain period of time, or... They were there every single day. The police showed up every single day. Why saying did, they, why did, did, why were they Because... Oh, that's what it was... That, that's what it was due... That's what it was due to. So, Kevin moved out because... Between me and my wife and Kevin, we were supposed to like pay the bills, keep the heat on, the gas, yeah, yeah. On, whatever. Well, Kevin was supposed to pay the electric bill. He didn't pay the electric bill. Me and my wife, I picked my wife from work and showed up at home. They were shutting the electricity off. So, me and Kevin got into an argument about um, not paying the bill. Yeah. And he took his shit and moved out. And then so the next day, DCY or two days later, something like that, I don't know, DCYF showed up and the police showed up because they said that we were unfit to have the children at the house because there was no electricity in the house. Okay. But we had a generator running, we had the fridge hooked up to it, there was food in the fridge, everything was fine. The police showed up, seeing that the kids was fine, there was nothing wrong with them. The 
DCYF showed up, and they, and they left. And was that like summer, fall, like when was that? I, I want to say maybe spring, going into summer maybe. Oh, okay, so like uh, you guys hadn't been there for too, too long then. Six months or so. Okay. Um, and how did it end up that you guys got kicked out of there? All right, so it was... My grandmother's house. Right. They didn't pay the mortgage or whatever. They they moved to Florida, so the mortgage payments weren't being paid. And the, I don't know, right around Thanksgiving sometimes, the sheriffs came and threw us out. And then And then me, Harmony, and Declan, Seamus, and Kayla left. And where the heck did you guys go from there? We were in our car. Oh, so you, had, so you lived in your car at that time? For a couple of days. Okay. And then... What, did you have like a van or something like that back then at least? Mm -hmm. to, what were you driving back then? Uh, Christ of some kind, I forget. Oh, so it was just like a sedan? A sedan, yeah. Okay, so you're living in the, in the car. The, so you, Kayla, and the three kids were living in the car for a few days. And then yeah. how how'd you get up out of that situation? Like, who, who took you in, or where'd you guys end up? We're in the phone our mom's house, Kayla's mom's house. Okay, and, and what's her her name? Chris. Chris, how, how she, well, I mean, she must be okay, she's willing to take you guys in. Yeah, all right, they're like, all right, I, 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 you know what, man, like, I don't even want to talk anymore, like, this is just beating around the bush, man, it just seems a little too silly to me. Well, I'm trying to figure out I who can substantiate your claims that there's, like, you're not this, like, monster of a person that either DCYF made you out to be or your your family who you didn't get along with or whoever. So that's why I'm trying to, like, let you kind of speak your piece about yeah, all that shit, you know what I mean? No, I, I get what you're saying. I, I just got nothing else to say, man. <clears throat> sit there and like uh can I smoke another butt? Sure. Sure. I uh I'll be honest, I don't smoke cigarettes. I'm yeah. a little lightheaded myself. I don't want to smoke butts for a minute. That's all good. I um but yeah no. You uh sure. But to sit there, man, and, 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 and sit there and tell me, you yourself, too, like, this is why I feel like it's just all bullshit. This is just a game. I know it is. I'm not stupid. I'm fucking... I'm just trying to give you the opportunity to explain yeah. yourself. You're sitting yeah. there telling me not to make myself, not to make me out to look like some monster. Well, no, you I'm... told my girlfriend the other day that she should get the fuck away from me, that yeah, I don't, you don't even know who I am and, and what my past is like and all types of crazy shit, like, but sit there and look me in my face. I, I, and I, Adam, I think... Are you talking about Kelsey? I think Kelsey might be exaggerating a little bit. Right. I don't know her to exaggerate like that. It wasn't us talking to Kelsey either. Oh, there, there, was, was, other, there other was other people talking to her, just oh, so you know. She, she, she told me, she gave me your card and said this was the guy that said it. Okay. Well, I'm telling you that I didn't say that. But if you want to believe her, that's fine. I mean, she never had no reason to lie to me. So I don't know why, what she would lie about at that point. Um, she also told me she had no idea that you had a daughter, so I guess we could say the same thing about you telling her that. Right, well... Right? She knew I had a daughter. I mean, I have one with Kayla, so she knew I had a daughter. She didn't know about Harmony. Uh, she knew I had She knew I had other kids. She yeah. she told me she had no idea that you ever like lived with her and that you like barely knew her. I don't know if that... If she was lying to me, because for whatever... I, I have no idea. I don't know her. I know you better than her, so that's what I'm saying. So Christina takes you guys in, and, and she's doing all right, and then would you guys move over to Union Street after that? Is that when you guys get that spot? Nope, we go to the shelter. And that that's the one on... Like, yeah. Okay. Who's we? Who went to the shelter? They allowed you to go as a family to the shelter? Mm. See, I thought they didn't like guys there for some reason. They always like guys there. They didn't let me in there this time for no reason. Their reason was bullshit, because I would have been there with Kayla again. So back then, they let you in there? Yeah, yeah. And it was all of you guys, like, it was the, the, the five. five of you, they let you guys stay there? No, no, no. All right, 
just saying, yeah, you guys are just. I'm trying to understand. I don't know your timeline of life, man. You're there. I'm. I'm not. That's why I'm trying to ask you these questions to, Look, to I already, clarify I, them. I already told you the other day what transpired. So we were We didn't all didn't even go to our mother's house. Okay. Who didn't go to her mother's Harmony house? Harmony was all. Okay, so Harmony didn't go to Chris's house. So explain to me how she didn't end up going to Chris's house. I've already explained this to you. Okay. Well, there's some discrepancies between what you're telling us and what other people are telling us. You're saying you brought her down to Mass, that somebody said she came up from Mass. I never once said I brought her down to Mass. What did you say? She came up here to get her? I never once said. I was audio and video recording the other day. I never once said I went down to Mass. So you're saying that she came up from Mass? I'm not saying anything else. Why is it that you refuse to talk about her every time we bring her up? Because you guys are just sitting here beating a fucking a bush. It's over and over. You guys asked me what happened the other day. I told you what happened. You, wouldn't tell, you, you guys, wouldn't tell us the other day. You, said you guys talked to talk me saying. the other day. I, I explained to him what happened the other day. And now, can it I? Was, it was just it was just a charade. Yep. No, don't worry about it. You're not under arrest. And I'll come up with some you, fucking bullshit. You didn't arrest you. No, the you, other day. No, you, but then you, you had a fucking go. SWAT team roll up on me and 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 and, and the fucking D techs follow me around for the last three days. Yeah, people are coming out of the woodwork. That's what we're trying to tell you. Like we don't want you to be painted as a monster. We want you to maybe explain yourself a little bit and give us some side of your story. We have nothing. We have just what we're hearing from people. 40000 bucks can drag a lot of people out, whether you believe you're your friends or not. Well, I bet it's it a lot will. of money. Man. Yeah, I know it is. So Absolutely it is. It's, we're trying to get, now's your time. Like it, you, you keep locking up on us. You don't want to tell us anything about her. I got nothing else to say. I think you care about all my kids, right? But the one I care the most about is your daughter, Harmony. And there's, we have people around the clock calling into us giving us tips from all over the country because they care too to try to find where she is. My only goal, which I told you the other day, is to make sure that she's safe. I don't want you to get tied into something if you didn't do anything wrong. My job is not to jam somebody up for something that they didn't do wrong. And if you can tell me that you didn't do anything wrong, then I want to believe you because, dude, I've met you now a few times. I helped you out when you were at the hospital when you were having a fucking meltdown. You told me about your kids. I sat there and I talked to you. Dude, I could have fucking tased you right there and I didn't do that because I saw deep down inside that you were hurting and that I wanted to help you. Right now, all I'm trying to do is help your daughter. I want to bring her home and I can't do that without your help. Dude, I can't do that without your help. Help, hey, can you look at me? Help me, please. All that's all I'm asking for. I can't sleep until I know that she's okay. And I know that you know where she is or what happened to her, but I can't do it without your help. And if you don't want to look like this fucking animal, because I don't think you are. Not that I don't think you are, I know you aren't. But... I can only do so much for you, man. I know. I'm, I'm begging you to help me. Because I'm, as much as you're hurting inside, I'm also hurting inside. And I don't know how you can sleep at night because I'm sure it's eating the shit out of you. Am I wrong? No. No, I'm just eating me up. I, just, I know I'm not fucking seeing my wife. I'm not seeing my kids. You guys are right. just playing games. Like, this is just Dude, but I'm not trying. We're not I, trying to play games again. Okay. Like... Telling, telling my wife and kids that I'm not allowed to see my wife and kids. Like, but dude, that was a mistake from some court paperwork that hadn't been updated. So like I said, I apologize for that. But it was updated. And DCYF told them. No, no, no. This was some like DV paperwork I'm talking about. But I'm talking about DCYF already told us multiple times that there was no, no contact order. Maybe okay. through DCYF. But it could have been through DCYF. It's so let's, criminal. dude, let's fucking forget about it. All right, you've, just, seen your, you've seen your kid, you've seen your wife and kids over the last, how many days, right? I so haven't seen them in the last, two, I haven't seen my kids in the last two days, three days. Okay. You're always going to be their father, Declan, Seamus. 
And then Sierra, right? Sierra. Sierra. And then there's Harmony. I got nothing else to say. That's it, guys. I got hey, else to say. can you make me a promise? Like, man to man? Can you tell me that she's alive? <laughs> You're going to play the same word games that you played with me the other no, day? No, it's not word games. I got nothing else to say. Because we care, man. We want to know. This, this, this isn't going to this right. isn't gonna go anywhere. Like, this isn't going to stop. So no, you know, no, it's not. So, no, so either I get on the bus now or get run over. Well, I got nothing else to say. Why is it you have so much trouble talking about Harmony? Because I just got, I got nothing else to say. This copy of this um, ex parte or um, it's a petition from DCYF. You can read it later sometime. I'll put it in your property. It's basically the same thing you got the other day, it's just a little more detailed that we handed you. Um, it does say that you're ordered to uh, help us locate Harmony Vita unless you're not going to do that. I'm just telling you guys I want a lawyer. Nine twenty five.